Universal Famous. He, you'll, everybody will know his name very soon, so I'm very pleased, honored that he's here performing for us. So please welcome Joshua Bennett. I was 12 years old the first time I heard Tupac. Headphones blaring stories of guns and glory unlike anything my suburban ears had ever heard. I was addicted, and the rhythm of the bass drum was my smack, so I smacked my veins, and inject verses till my arms were covered with all the latest tracks, snorting lines of Curtis Blow until all faded to black, and I woke to find a brand new Jay-Z album in my backpack. Couldn't backtrack or fall back like would have passed that, so I skipped time. You could take Dilla as my DeLorean and went past that scene. My daddy left, so I had to write. With my right and left, just to write the wrongs he blessed, check. Like a king in danger during chess, but I'm more like a queen. Live blue moves in all directions on any given beat, I get death. I yeah, see you, Josh. The corners where young men act obtuse, because they were never able to see life from the right angle. So limited perspective, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hearts, yeah. Hearts, yeah. hearts colder than 45 degrees. Never went to class, so they skipped the first four letters of the alphabet and end lives with ease. Remember that your heart. It's just a drum machine. And that we are all hands in the same crowd, all waves on the same frequency. See, we are hip hop. I am hip hop. I am the first bullet that hit Sean Bell. I'm a crack pipe in a pregnant mother's hands. A project building, a fire, a prison inmate. Writing the illest verse you ever heard from the gas chamber. On the handcuffs on his hands and the shackles on his mind. I'm four little girls, a gen of six, and a little rock nine. I'm three fifths human and five fifths warrior. I'm the king. No, I'm Rodney King. No, I'm Martin Luther King. Trip walking on clouds with Malcolm X. I'm Barack. Barack Obama. Yes. Matter of fact, I'm Barack Obama's grandson trying to catch a cab in Manhattan. I'm on blood, throwing up my hood, rolling deep, ready to kill a nigga. I'm the Ku Klux Klan, throwing up my hood, rolling deep, ready to kill a nigga. Ah! Contradiction. See, hip hop is just like Halloween. A worldwide masquerade where rappers display acts of buffoonery not seen since masses of days. Because we used to be free. We keep running back to bondage like backward slaves who gladly give up the rights to what we write in exchange for chains. And so it's no wonder that after all this time, the terms remain exactly the same. Because little black boys just want to play the game, become super queens who hip hop from courts to court rooms because rims, whether they are on cars or backboards, all sound exactly the same to them. So if you ask me what I love about this culture, I would say everything and nothing. That it has killed as many as it has saved, that it has moved as many as it has paralyzed, and that somewhere in a back alley in the South Bronx, none of us will ever step foot in. There is a crack addicted man, turntables in his eyes, a song in his heart, and a world that may never be ready to listen. 